Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm Chris McGee, Robert Ori, James Worthy, Mike President. Allie's going to join us in a little bit. Mike Trudell will handle the post-game duties. We're going to hear from him in a moment. Lakers win a wild one in Indiana. Uh, LeBron, big night. We'll get to that in a moment. No AD. They finished 2-3 and three on the road trip, and after 20 games, Rob, they are 10-10, and 10 and they needed this one. They found a way to get it done in overtime. Yeah, even though they didn't win the last three like AD wanted, but they went out on a bang. This was a great game. They played good defense with AD being absent from this game. The best thing about this game, low turnover game. I know everybody will say, what about LeBron's points? But the fact that they're not turning the ball means they're taking care of the ball. That is a step in the right direction. Yeah, this was a, a, a game they really needed. You know, the little scuffle in Detroit kind of pulled them together a little bit. Uh, but this game um, was one that they really needed. Uh, I think this one will propel them into a better place going forward now. Uh, overall game, they, they, they picked it up in the second half. Uh, they didn't allow as many points in the paint. They got some fast break points. Uh, I thought um, I thought Monk's uh, you know contribution tonight was was critical at times. We had some big shots, but then LeBron James did what he did best um, and led this team tonight. And uh, I'm a little bit too tired for worthy clap. So y'all send them in for me. That yeah. was a good game, Brez. Sometimes they got to pick it up for you, James. Let's go yeah. back to Indiana, Brez. Hold your thought. LeBron's with Mike Trudell. All right, LeBron, so Indy's dropping Miles Turner. He's down on the baseline. When are you deciding to get into those looks to, to get the jump shots off you got off in overtime? Uh, just taking what the defense gives me, trying to stay in rhythm. Um, I understand that it's closing time, it's winning time, especially in the fourth quarter and then overtime. Chris Duarte made an uh, unbelievable shot to send it to overtime. So, you know, just trying to do my part and uh, had a couple go. So no AD tonight. You played almost all the second half minutes at center defensively. Uh, what is that like or what's the focus there for you? Well, I mean, when I'm playing uh, defense at the center position, I'm able to uh, basically call all the coverages before, you know, teams even get into it. And it gets my other four guys in position where they're not caught off guard. So uh, just trying to be in, uh, continue, uh, continue to uh, communicate throughout the whole possession, uh, keep my guys aware of screens and flares and slips and whatever case that's going on behind them. And, you know, uh, and, and it resulted in us getting some stops. And, you know, my, my guys did a great job of keeping body on body and then rebounding. Has it been the easiest start to the season for you guys, LeBron? How important was it for you to find a way to get a win tonight? How important was that just for you to take that over late? Uh, we've been playing better over the late. Um, you know, I think uh, yesterday we played, uh, you know, some good ball, even in my absence. Uh, we just weren't able to come through on that one. Obviously, second half of that Detroit game, we played um, exceptional, especially in that fourth quarter. So, you know, we want to continue to build off of it. Uh, we haven't been healthy. You know, we haven't been healthy, haven't been as a whole tonight. We wasn't healthy again. Lost our big uh, our big uh, guy in AD. Uh, you know, Kendrick uh, Nunn, K. Nunn ain't been in. T.A. ain't been in. I've been out of the lineup a lot this year. But, you know, we want to continue to work our habits and continue to play Laker basketball. And if we do that close to 48 minutes, we put ourselves in a good position to win. Last thing for you, Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, I think you've earned some time with the feet up. Uh, but what's the plan with the family? Uh, the plan with the family is to break bread, um, you know, be thankful of our loved ones, um, be thankful for the opportunity to be able to wake up and, and be in the presence of your loved ones and give uh, all thanks to the man above. Uh, you know, watch some football, some NFL football, three games coming on tomorrow. Uh, have uh, first and seconds, get a little sleep, get back up, eat some more, and uh, get ready for a sack on Friday. That sounds good. Appreciate it, LeBron. I hope it is. And some wine, too. That would be good, too. I need that. Let's go throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Yeah, LeBron James with a big night indeed. Uh, definitely earning that meal tomorrow. LeBron James highs there. 43 minutes, 39 points, 13 of 29 from three point land, 5 of 12. He had five rebounds and six assists. Uh, Brez, 17 of the points were in the fourth quarter in OT. He was also 8 of 9 from the free throw line, which needs to be mentioned as well. Yeah, I know a lot of people have already kind of uh, lateraled this Laker team. Like, yeah, you know, they're going to be 500. You know, maybe make the playoffs, maybe win around. You can't quite do that yet because LeBron James has missed so many games. With him in the lineup, this team can really beat anybody. Now, as we've seen, they can also lose to anybody, but just a different feeling when he's out there. I mean, come on, in overtime, a 27-foot three, a 30-foot three-pointer, that fadeaway down the left side. I mean, these, this is vintage LeBron James 
When he's on the court, it's just a different animal. You cannot discount this team as long as he is uh, in the lineup, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Rob. No, you go ahead, big game. You know, 43 minutes, only two turnovers as much yeah. as he handled the ball. Um, if this team can get healthy and get a couple practices, a few under their belt, you're right, Brad. Uh, they could really peak at the right time. And I think that's what's happening right now. Uh, you know, especially this game. It's going to pull them together. They're coming back home. Thanksgiving, perfect timing, big win. Get everybody back healthy when they're playing Sacramento. And, uh, yeah, it, it looks good. I, I, I hope that this is a good trend. I always like to use that word, trended in the right direction. <laughs> you know, they shot 40% from three, which is great. They outshot the, the <clears throat> Indiana Pacers. And you look at the guys who came off the bench, Ellington and Monk, I think they had seven of those threes. And when you get guys off the bench to contribute like that, this makes it easier for LeBron James. Let's be honest, because now people got to guard those guys and it opened up the floor, not just for LeBron, for Westbrook. And Westbrook had a great game, only four turn, I think three or four turnovers. Four. And that's, that's big because last game he had five in the first half. So when you look at these guys, the way they played, now, even though they didn't start out well, and we want them to have a – but those first two were awful, but they played really well when they had their backs against the wall. Rob, let's talk LeBron at the five. Um, it's a different look for the Lakers. Uh, LeBron talked to Mike Trudell about what he liked about it defensively. Um, what did you see from LeBron in that position with no AD tonight? Well, he, he, let's face it, LeBron, 6'10", 6'9". He, back in the day, he was a center, you know? <laughs> but, but you look at the way he can play. He can bring those centers up. He wanted some bonus. He wanted that ISO. And the Lakers kept putting those pick and rolls until they got the switch. That's the thing about today's basketball. Nobody wants to play one-on-one -on -one defense. They want to switch everything. Which sets up perfect for guys like LeBron when he's at the center because who's on – you're not going to, nobody on the floor can guard him. A center can't. And when you have your best player who is a center on your team, he has to be on the floor. And so the Lakers exploited that. And when they're exploiting that, they got to rotate and LeBron can kick it or drive. So basically the pace was at their mercy. Did you like him anchoring the defense, being able to call it the coverages, as he had mentioned? Yes, because he's back there. He can see it. He has the most experience. He knows the playbooks and plays of a lot of other teams. I like that small lineup. Could you imagine that lineup against Utah and Gobert being, you know, excluded from the lineup because of uh, mismatch problems? Uh, something for Vogel to look at. Also, he's got to take a look at uh, how he plays Monk. Even when, we, even when people... Uh, you know, come back healthy. Brez and I were watching a little bit in, in, in the room in there, and uh, Brez was like, this guy, this guy, you know, he has some spunk in his game, and he does. He's not afraid to play, not afraid to put it on the floor, so uh, we're seeing some good, uh, some good things come out of this, uh, this downtime when they're getting everybody back healthy and struggling a little bit. We're still seeing some good things that are going to lead to the future here. Yeah, James, I like how the Lakers kind of impose their will yeah. on Indiana. You know, Miles Turner, the best shot blocker in the NBA, uh, irrelevant uh, down the stretch there. Why? Because LeBron was, you know, the Lakers went extreme small ball. Uh, basically, Miles Turner out, uh, really not doing anything, not even really in the game. So I, I like how the Lakers kind of dictated the terms of that win. Uh, James, you mentioned Malik Monk. Um, he's not just a three-point shooter. He, he had some decent defensive plays, uh, some pretty good plays on offense that were not... Uh, from distance, and you cannot forget Wayne Ellington. Three threes in that fourth quarter for the old vet. So a lot of help for LeBron tonight on a night where uh, AD did not play. If you go back to yesterday's game against the Knicks, it was 91 and a half minutes. The Lakers did not have a lead in either basketball wow. game until this guy, Malik Monk, hit that shot to give the Lakers the lead. 17 points off the bench for Malik. He's speaking with Mike in the media. Malik, I want to say this is your first time being on the court with LeBron in those kind of moments that you probably watched either for years or played against him or just watched as you were growing up. What, what were you thinking? That's what he does. <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's why he's the GOAT, man. Uh, he's going to take control of the game, um, let everybody know it's, we know rush. Uh, he's going to bring us home, man, and, and that's what I've seen. Uh,